Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. That's right, you can connect your new or old stereo receiver to any computer. Whether it's a desktop computer or laptop, it's gonna have an aux port. Now this aux port may be labeled line out or have a headphones icon. Regardless, the sound is gonna go out through there to any device such as a headphone or even an amplifier. In other words, your stereo receiver. Oh shucks, my computer's pretty old and I don't see that port. Actually, it is there, don't worry. Just find an input port colored green like so. They were typically color coded this way for microphone, sound out, or audio input. What you're gonna want is the green one to take your audio out to any aux sound system. Whether it's a pair of headphones, an active speaker with an aux input, or back to the matter at hand, a stereo receiver. All right, let's make sure we're all on the same page here. We'll plug in our aux cable into our computer's audio out green port or headphone jack. Okay, now we take the other same end to plug into our stereo receiver. Find an aux port labeled in, all right? It could be portable in, aux in, line in, or even PC in like we see here. The key word here is in. FYI, remember a headphone jack will send audio out. We're not trying to send audio out from our receiver, we're trying to send it in from our computer. Okay, the last step is gonna be on your sound system. It can play audio from multiple sources, so go ahead and select the one you plugged into, for example, aux. Okay, it's quite possible, especially with older stereos, that you don't even find an aux port on them. But no worries, it's surely gonna have a set of RCA ports, like so. And that's great news for us because RCA is practically aux. Aux just conveniently fits it all through a single cable. So here's what you're gonna do if you have to connect through aux. If you already have an aux cable present, you can then just add a splitter like this. The aux cable goes in here and now you have yourself a set of RCA connectors. This is easy to do because remember, internally both are the same. So now you can go from your computer to your RCA connecting stereo. Your second option is a single cable that already has RCA and aux integrated. So I recommend this one if you don't have an aux cable yet and you wanna buy one item rather than two. Okay, so now that you're all connected, the last thing you gotta do is go to your stereo and select the audio input you just plugged into. Now your computer is also part of your awesome sound system. Here on the top left comes another video that can help you make the most out of your sound system. Wanna keep more videos coming? Well, you can help me stay awake with a cup of coffee. You can go to buymeacoffee.com slash simplecafe or just look right here below in YouTube with the controls, you'll find a super thanks button. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you get connected.